Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host Larry, and today we're going to take a look at an interesting piece of technology. And this is becoming a greater trend in different companies using newer and fancy algorithms. And basically, today we're going to look at the program ChromaCam by the company Personify. And what ChromaCam does is it promises you the ability to trim out the background around your camera without the use of a green screen that you can then use the color to like remove the color from the picture known as chroma keying. And I'm going to show you how to set it up and I'm also going to be taking a look at how good it is or it isn't as the case may be. And basically what it should look like is if you look here um in this young lady's face she, you know, you don't see any background behind her, and it looks like she is perfectly chroma keyed. And from what it looks like on her ads that are all over social media that I've been seeing here and there, it looks like she does it without the use of a green screen because supposedly a green screen is just a pain in the butt to set up sometimes with the correct lighting and everything. And this has got a free 30 day trial, and it's also like $10 if you want to use it forever. So in order to get this thing working, we'll first open up my OBS and I'm using another recorder to record OBS because you can't record the recorder with the recorder because that just would be crazy. And this is my default uh, green screen, although I could probably do to adjust one or both of my fill lights so that they're not quite so strong. And if I go down here and I right click my video capture device and go to filters, I can reveal to you what my chroma key setup looks like, although I do need to reset the webcam because it's a little brighter than it should look. But as you can see, the chroma key, very easy to work with. This took me about five minutes to set back up because I deleted it previously when I started adjusting my office for more green screen recording. And, you know, it. there's a little bit of like what I call the the bleed on the edge here where you kind of see it looks like it's jittering around a little bit. But when you make this really small, the webcam really small, like it's appearing down in a corner, you don't really notice it quite so much. So what we want to do right now is I'm going to make this really big again. I'm going to go to filters. I'm going to disable the chroma key. And then in order to use the chroma cam that I just showed you, you first have to install it. And then what it does is it intercepts. So this is like, this is your computer, this is your webcam, and then it sneaks in the middle here and it intercepts your webcam and then tries to chroma key it for you or re just remove the background. So to do that, we're going to A, turn off the custom resolution because I don't need the full resolution of my webcam for this because it makes it, you know, mess up when I use the other device. And then in my devices list, I'm going to select the Personify Chroma Cam. And then that's going to pop up this little window. And then, as you can see, it's a, it's attempting to chroma key my webcam. And it's not doing a very good job, to be completely honest. Uh, it would be nice if it did. Then I would probably just chuck my whole green screen setup entirely because it's kind of bulky. But I've tested this in a number of different scenarios. High light, low light medium light, no extra light, upstairs in the kitchen on a laptop, and it just doesn't seem to cut it for general purpose use. As you can see, like, it's kind of cutting off my hand as I'm waving around right here. You can kind of see it's... I've got this, this whole headset that you'd want to see for it to make me not look like a weird demon, but it cuts that off, and now it's even cutting off my head, or the top of my hair. I... what do you... Okay, so yeah, basically it, it doesn't work, but that's how you set it up if you want to give it a try for your webcam and everything. But so far, I have not been especially impressed. So we're just going to go back to the regular Logitech webcam, set it back to the custom resolution, which is humongous. We'll just make sure that that fits correctly. And yeah, that's Chroma Cam. It would be nice if it worked, because there are a couple of other, like, 100 plus, $120 webcams that can do something very similar. But the trouble is, they all kind of have this weird wavy thing going on 
around the head. And that's what you really want to look for, like the the silhouette, you the edge of your body if it's f like spazzing out and having a seizure. You don't want that to happen because it looks weird and looks like your webcam is crapping all over itself. So basically, that is how you set up Chroma Cam for anyone who's curious at home, and also kind of a showcase of it. Doesn't work superbly well, at least not that I've found. So mileage may vary. You can try it out for yourself for 30 days, and it's available for $10 otherwise, but I don't recommend it. But I figured since some a lot of other people are probably seeing this tool, because I saw it on advertised on Facebook and in a couple of other places similar to that, I figured someone else is probably going to see it, so you might as well get a review in there. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe and maybe suggest some other software for me to demo out there in the wild blue yonder, especially if it involves recording or streaming video games. And I'll catch you guys and gals next time. Have a good one, everybody, and toodaloo!